Hello my friends. Today I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret of my secret weapon to feeding African cichlids. These beautiful beauties right here. It's something that I have in the store that I carry. So stay tuned and I will explain to you why while I'm feeding the fish, why it's very beneficial and why you should definitely add this to their diet 100%. Okay, so this is what I do. I just kind of grab, uh, you know, a little chunk of nori like that, or seaweed, and then I just kind of break it up with little chunks like that. Now, as you can see, they're kind of going up at the top. This is one method of doing it. It's all gonna float at the top, which is fine because it's fun to watch them go up and snatch it and grab it at the top. Um, now, why is it important to feed um, seaweed to your African cichlids? For well, for one, especially for these veggie-based uh, fish like mambunas, and as you saw in the video, there's a trophius going across there. So these fish do eat animal protein, but they get a lot of fiber with that animal protein. So when you're feeding them nori, they're getting that high levels of protein, and then it's loaded with uh, tons of vitamins and minerals. It's got lots of iodine in it. Um, and the good thing about it is that it's high in animal protein as opposed to vegetable protein. So here I am giving another tank full of it and you can see they kind of go crazy for it. So the good part about it is that it doesn't pollute your tank. So what elevates your nitrates is whenever you put animal protein. So if you have an Oscar tank, that's why you have to do such a crazy amount of water changes because you got to feed them a high protein diet. With this, you can keep the cichlids fuller for longer. And by keeping them full, um, it helps reduce their aggression. So sometimes what you'll notice when you're feeding them nori, they'll go and snatch a big piece of seaweed and then it kind of muzzles them for a bit. They're like, oh, I got this big chunk of seaweed and then it fills up their belly so then they're not hangry, so to speak, right? Because that's one of the reasons why Africans are aggressive is because they're trying to guard for food resources. When they get this big chunk of seaweed in their mouth, then uh, it really helps reduce a lot of their aggression. So here I am putting a little more and then you can see that they're gonna keep going for it. And I already fed this tank um, just seconds ago, but they're still going for it like crazy. So I would do this as your second feeding. And this is my secret weapon because it's packed with vitamins and minerals. It's got tons of fiber, so it keeps them regular and it helps you um, be able to manage keeping different species with different dietary requirements all in the same tank. Because even the peacocks and the haps who are a little bit more of a meat-based fish and need a little bit of a higher protein value will still eat the nori because they still kind of crave it. So those are kind of a lot of the benefits. Now here's the second method um, of feeding them nori. So you just take a little chunk and then you put it into some lukewarm water and I just kind of break it up in little pieces. This is kind of what I do with the dry method um, as well. That's kind of what you do. You just sort of break it up like that and throw it in the tank and then they can go dart it with the surface. But with this way, uh, you just kind of mix it up a little bit and it saturates it with water so it makes it a little bit more palatable um, for the fish and it makes them scoop it up a little easier. But doing it this way, as you're gonna see in a minute, kind of like drives it down to the bottom of the tank and then they can go pick it up. So this is the peacock and haps uh, dominant uh, tank. And even them, even though they like a little bit of a higher protein value in their diet, they still go for it, they still like it, they still eat it. Even uh, the South and Central American stuff will eat it too. Things like severums love it because, you know, severums, the reason you can't really keep plants with severums is because they eat the plants all the time. But uh, so, you know, they're going in there and they're darting and they're picking up. Now, if you do a mixed tank with mambunas, haps and peacocks, then the mambunas absolutely love it because that's kind of what they crave and they're used to it. Um, but then it just kind of everybody sort of is able to grab every little piece that's floating around in the tank. So that's pretty much it with all of that. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Get yourself some nori. I sell it at the store. It's really important. It's great. It's not going to pollute your tank. Like I said, it's not going to elevate your nitrates. It's a great way to keep your fish fuller for longer, but without making your, without uh, ruining your water quality, let's say. So that's, I think I banged on this drum long enough and I just appreciate you guys watching the video. So take care.